During our work, we heard clear and compelling evidence that the Senev is currently undersized, that its membership should be more diverse, that the current electoral system constrains voter choice and member accountability, and that it is inappropriate that there is no mechanism for reviewing the Senev's boundaries. There is not time today for me to outline all of the recommendations, which include, for example, that there should be between 80 and 90 members of the Senev elected by STV, the single transferable vote, that arrangements should be put in place to review the Senev's boundaries on an ongoing basis, that voluntary and legislative interventions should be put in place to overcome the structural inequalities and societal barriers that stand in the way of a more diverse Senev and that we need to do more to increase levels of public awareness and understanding of what the Senev does and how its work makes a difference to the issues that matter to people. Investing in our democracy has a cost attached to it, and those costs would have to be carefully scrutinised as the Senev considered any reform bill. But on the basis of the estimates that the Slavith has prepared for us and the evidence that we've received, we believe that the additional cost is not only a price worth paying, it's a necessary investment in our democratic processes and institutions.